experience coming here where some guy decided to cut another guy off, passing him from the right okay. uh, on the highway with maybe four inches to spare. No blinker during a rainstorm, and there were two other cars behind the guy he cut off, and then to the right was myself behind another car. And uh, if that guy was four inches behind where he was, uh, it probably would have been a five-car pileup. We all would have oh died. My God. So I am uh, very glad to be here. This has been like a world rocker of an experience. I was driving, so, I mean, it particularly hit me... Uh, close to home I was like whoa close man. to home like, no pun yeah. intended yeah like for real so uh yeah guys glad to be alive commentating and playing smash today it's a much better alternative to being a mushy pile of guts on the highway because some dude is like in a rush I guess he had a date with Beyonce or something drive safe guys yeah drive safe please for the love of your commentators and fellow smashers so <laughs> let's uh, go back to reality where Sonic Back to reality. Sonic <laughs> Rosalie <laughs> yeah. right at it. <laughs> right, yeah, from possibly the most real situation to a very not real one. But it's still, this is just uh, equally as serious to these guys, I'm sure, fighting for their tournament lives here in loser's bracket. And Gunblade using Marth, his classic character, and Frozen has shown us some solid Rosalina tech today as well. This man seems to just pick the best character in every game he plays, a loyal Mewtwo made in Project M. Yeah, it looks like... Um, it's, it's really funny because normally Marth is a zoning character, all right? With, with uh, applied pressure, of course, that's the nature of this game. But Marth has uh, been traditionally known for his very, very good offensive pressure combined with his ability to brick wall. Now, it seems here, a oh, very nice falling death blade, a little bit of an uncommon option, but it seems here that Rosalina is the one of the two in this matchup who wants to do all the zoning. Very interesting to see how Marth will adapt to that kind of situation. And in Smash 4, Marth is armed with more of a dagger than a sword. And that really does hurt his zoning game. The but Falcon has uh, apparently been been under work. Yeah, it's been shrinking over time. It has reverse growth rates, to uh, make a Fire Emblem reference. And wow, beautiful down tilt there. But the lasting hitbox on Rosalina's down air, able to carry her to safety, still living. All right, Marth does have rage in effect. You can see him smoking now. A tipper forward smash might be all he needs. And there oh. was it right there. He went for it. But, of course, that was blocked by Frozen, and he will remain on the stage. Now, another thing I want to point out in this game is that because of uh, shield pressure being so much more relevant, I'm interested what that means for Marth and his shield breaker move. Because if, uh, although he doesn't have short hop double fair, see if he had short do hop double fair, it'd just be ridiculous. Because with short hop double fair, it means the amount of shield pressure. Oh my god! They wow, him. the they up smash him. at 103. Dude, dude, he is dead. Really? Where did his stock go? Was, oh. was that like not vectored or something? Like, yeah, sent her right back to the galaxy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know if that was no vectoring or if that move is just really that strong. I have seen Marth's uh, up smash land a very low number of times in this game. Yeah. So we will discover these things as we go along. We're still still dealing with the new game here, folks. And Rosalina trying to hold down this edge and prevent Marth from getting back on the stage. He really wants to even up the stock count here. But nice pivot grab. But not okay, as that. I was mentioning before, you should always pummel, but you don't want to pummel when your opponent's at seven percent. Right. Uh, they'll just <laughs> break out. They'll just break out automatically. Pummel when they have roughly fifty or more to guarantee that you'll get at least one. Wow, Luma kind of. Uh, Counting against Rosalina there, hitting Marth backwards with the down smash. And, wow, still living, but Luma tied. Yeah, well, that wasn't the expected outcome of that throw. Wow, Gunblade teching the ground bounce. Beautiful stuff, and, oh, up smash out of shield doesn't even connect. Oh, that'll connect, though. Uh, Gunblade just cracking into the 200 club. Yeah, air dodge obviously wasn't a viable option there. I was looking for maybe counters to keep him alive for just a little bit longer. Again, it's a move that most Marth players aren't really too familiar with using. They've strayed away from it as the trade-off of having a counter with is generally not worth the benefit of having the counter hit. But in this game, counter has been drastically buffed, so the risk may as well be, may very much well be worth the reward. Wow. Frozen has played immaculately since losing his first stock, only taking 25 damage. You saw him with 7% for the vast majority of the last two minutes. And oh, there goes Luma. That's going to severely hamper Rosalina's effectiveness, but she's still a dangerous character in her own right. She has great disjointed hitboxes. And there's Luma. Yep, with only uh, a seven second or so respawn timer. Wow, what a difficult recovery to punish, even though he was very sloppy about landing it. 
And it looks very hard to play Marth in this game, because with the lack of a C-Stick and the way Marth plays, it's a little bit trickier to space Marth. And not only is Marth the character that wants to space well because of his great range and his weakness on the inside, but also because the tip of his sword does more damage. So when you combine these two factors, it's why people always say Marth is all about the spacing and not having that C-Stick to really control yourself in the air with your joystick exclusively, and then you use your C-Stick to trigger the attacks as you want them is very important. So. Gunblade falls a little bit short there. Frozen takes game one. Let's see how Gunblade will respond. That was still a very intense and close match, man. Gunblade taking the first stock. And then just all of a sudden, Frozen's like, Frozalina. I'm going to call him Frozalina. Frozalina. Just decides, okay, like this is what you were doing. This is what I want you to do. <laughs> Absolutely. So we got to see, is Gunblade going to stay marked? It looks like yes. No, Ganondorf. Ganondorf. Yep. The King of Darkness. Match is loading up right now. We've got ourselves going into the match. Give me a second, I gotta kill a few blue hedgehogs. And we're off, folks. Ganondorf drawing first blood, landing that hit. Rosaluna answering, Rosalina answering right back. Starts a string at the cost of Luma. Let's her fall off the stage, but it's, is it worth it for the 30%? I think yes, as Luma is now back. Ganondorf trying to find a way inside. I don't necessarily think back air is Ganondorf's best approach. I think you want to see if you can use a little bit more of a fundamental ground game, a little bit of dash in, retreating shields, and uh, try and bait out responses, and then punish with Ganondorf, as he has several ground bursting moves, such as his side B and his, um, and his down, down B. Yeah. Unfortunately, that side B is not even safe on hit with Luma around, who just interrupts grabs like it's nothing. They're very reminiscent of Ice Climbers. One of the reasons that uh, multi-unit characters are so strong, like Ice Climbers and like Rosalina and Luma, are not just because uh, Ice Climbers' ground game was enhanced, but it's also because you couldn't shield, I mean, you couldn't grab them, which is one of the best answers to their shield, which they want to use to get the grab. So that seems to also ring true here for Rosalina, but it looks like Ganon's got her off stage. Doesn't get the punish. And maybe uh, looking for a little bit of an up smash there. Doesn't find it. Okay. Do we find the up smash here? Wow, charging it to try to beat out the spot dodge. He gave it to him, but not the right spacing from Gunblade. It had to be a little bit closer in there. Oh, the shield destruction! Yeah, up smash uh, has traditionally been very low cooldown of a move. Of course, not completely unpunishable, but in addition to being very strong, its low cooldown just means that it's pretty safe to throw out there. If your opponent is in a bad position, I really like that oh down air. Oh my to god. Can't even tell if that was intentional, but if it was, I'm not even a little bit mad. That was beautiful play from Frozen who's now just wow, using down air to great effect horizontally. It has such a wide range. And now Ganon's going to have to deal with Luma at the edge here. Wow, just boxing in between the differently facing jabs. That is something else, I tell you. It looks like Rosalina is not going to give this Ganondorf a chance to get inside on her. No real chance to land hits here. We have the... Uh, the Meteor Smash coming out from her down air, it is very weak, not doing too much knockback. She's but able to just short hop her treat with it too, man. Oh, yeah, I mean, so I just solid. don't see much damage going here onto this Rosalina. Now we do finally get her off the stage with the hit. Luma's down. Can Ganondorf take advantage? Maybe not. Ganondorf not seeming to have the speed to really keep up. What we're not seeing from Gunblade here is what we mentioned earlier, that, active, that activity from the player. Nice upbeat does quite a bit of damage. Not really enough to pull him back in the game, but it's a start. And Luma completely invincible to grabs, as you see. Not uh, getting hit by That'll be it all in. Wow. Okay, 99% for Gunblade. This is about five hits for Ganondorf, though. So, yeah, absolutely. I think if Ganondorf does get that first read and he's able to continue up the offensive pressure, it is entirely possible for him to take this back, but not after that. Not the forward smash, the the, yeah, the, the range forward smash. I mean, it's almost even hard to think of Luma killing. Him, you know, you're just trying to figure out how can I get back to the stage. You see Rosalina across the stage, and then all of a sudden you're dead to Luma. All right, I'm gonna take one set of a break to eat some.